when we go to add our beams, we're going to go to the members page. And then inside of our steel section, we're going to drop this drawer down and select add beam. Let's start at the one between A1 and B1. We can see that is a W18 by 40. So I'm going to go ahead and type in W18 by 40. And just like we did with our column, we can just select our points. Now, again, we do want to make sure we are using the correct snap. If I had snapped or selected my exact point, that would snap either to the bottom or the top of the column, depending on which is closer. So just to show this, we don't want to do this, but when I select that, we can see when I hover at A and 1, our XYZ location here is showing that Z elevation at 126 foot 0. Because we are at 114 foot 6, and the exact point of that column is either at the bottom or the top, we know we can't get that to snap right at the correct elevation. So just make sure you're using intersection of construction lines. So again, we set the section size, we'll leave our connections at auto standard, and then we'll go from A1 to B1. Again, looking at our button bindings here at the bottom, we can see left click is for locate, right click return, and middle click is repeat. We can go in and repeat this at B1. I will middle click, and then we can actually go in and repeat this at A and 3. They have been working and notice that middle click is to pan. Well in this case, since middle click is repeat, if I hold down my shift key, that then becomes pan. So now I can just middle click and drag. Again, I can middle click to repeat those. And now we have those 18 by 40s in here. Another tool we haven't looked at yet with our beam add is at the top we have what is our continuous add mode so if I select that that's just going to continue adding it from the last point selected if I change my section size here from W1840 to 18 by 35 and with the continuous add mode on go from A to B we can see then it's asking me for my next point so I could continue through adding it that way in this case I'm going to turn that off and we can see I can go in and select my points now the next box here is for launch member edit. If I check that on and I add my beam at A3 to A2, that's our W21 by 44. So I'm going to change that W21 by 44. Select my two points. It then brings up our beam edit window. This is similar to our column edit window, but it is slightly different. We can specify the section size the steel grade, the sequence, depending on the material, it could specify the toe direction, the long leg, if it's double material, if that is centered, if it's a welded section in the single material. Is this uh, marked for composite design? If so, what is our slab width and the number of studs? What is the beam rotation? Do we want to hold the rotations? Does this have a rolling operation? Do we want to swap member ends? Do we want this galvanized or do we want this broke apart? We can then go in and specify our end elevations, the web rotations, if we're adding a standard detail, and then our input connection type for our left and our right end. In this case, I'm not going to set any of that. So I'm just going to go ahead and say OK. And we can see it added that 21 by 44 in there. I'm going to go ahead and turn off our launch member edit. Before going any further, a couple things here is when we are adding a beam. I'm just going to select a point, and we don't have a beam here. I'm just doing this as an example. I'm going to select this point. Now, if I go to the right, we can see that's showing at 25 foot zero. Well, let's say I only want a 10 foot beam in there. I can come in here and use what's called a typed dimension. I can just go 10 0, and we can see that it is selecting that point. I can then go in and snap to those different locations. You can see it snaps on 45s, the exact points, or the intersection of construction lines. If I knew a direct angle, I could go in and type in the at symbol and type in 30 degrees, and now it's going to put that 
at 10 foot zero long and at 30 degrees. So our type dimensions can be used with any member type that we are working with here. If I decide I don't want that, I can just hit the backspace and clear that out. We do have noticed points at 45 degree increments. So we can see it's just snapping to some random point here. That's because that intersection of construction line is meeting at 45 degrees. I can do the same down here and 45 degrees in each of the quadrants.